Tech manufacturers are doing their best to keep up with the latest trends as technologies advance. Gaming is one industry that's grown incredibly popular in recent years. So if we asked you which gaming component is the most important to your gaming experience, you would definitely say the GPU and visuals, which is why in today's video, we're gonna be revealing the best GPU for 1080p, 1440p, and 4K gaming. Ready to get into it? Well, let's get right into it. For 1080p gaming, we got the AMD Radeon RX 6600. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 costs 330 bucks, but it's actually worth it, especially if you're still playing games at 1080p. Not to mention that it's also worth the money if you plan to play games, which also support AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution tech, which is already enhancing the performance of popular games, such as Far Cry 6 and Resident Evil Village. Like any other graphics card in the AMD Radeon lineup, the RX 6600 is based on the RDNA2 architecture, and it's technically a cut down version of the same GPU, which you can find in the Radeon RX 6600 XT. Here, you're only gonna get 28 Compu units in this version compared to the 32 on the XT version, which means that you'll get a total of 1,792 stream processors and 28 ray accelerators. Although it is a bit slower, the eight gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM on a 128-bit bus is still more than adequate for the 1080p resolution that this card is designed for. Its peak bandwidth comes in at 224 gigabytes, and as a result, AMD is not marketing this card as a high-end showpiece, but rather more of a device for playing the newest games at 1080p, which makes sense given that this is still the most common resolution on many games. The Radeon RX 6600 was advertised by AMD as a 1080p GPU, and that's exactly what it is. In many of the tests that we had done, the graphics card handled flawlessly at 60 FPS, even in highly challenging games like Metro Exodus and Horizon Zero Dawn. In Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, where ray tracing is essentially always on, the Radeon RX 6600 does experience minor difficulties, but that is to be expected. Even so, the frame rate remained at 45 FPS, which is still more than playable and should deliver a respectable experience, especially if you're using a FreeSync compatible gaming monitor. Even though the graphics card in and of itself is a really scaled down version of the 6600 XT, it still represents a sizable reduction. Generally speaking, the 6600's performance will roughly be 15% or lower than many of the XT models. The RX 6600 XT is exactly 15% more expensive than the RX 6600, so scaling is ideal. However, things do look better for AMD whenever you're looking at the RTX 3600. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3600 and AMD Radeon RX 6600 are essentially on equal footing. Both graphics cards have games where they excel, like Metro Exodus and Horizon Zero Dawn for the NVIDIA card, and Dirt 5 for the RX 6600. It all depends upon the game that you play. The best 1440p gaming card is the RTX 3060 Ti. You don't have to spend a fortune to access next-gen graphics performance whenever you get the RTX 3060 Ti. Additionally, even if the RX 3060 is cheaper, the 3060 Ti offers way better value because it just delivers more performance for the money. The 3060 Ti in particular enhances the 3060's strong 1080p performance by enabling you to play the newest AAA games at 1440p on ultra settings. Additionally, if you do employ DLSS, you could even play up to 4K games on it. Right now, you can get it for as low as $400. Now, another thing to note here is the 3060 Ti does share some Ampher technology with the 3080. And while the graphics card won't precisely be able to drive Watch Dogs Legions at 4K, it will still be capable of doing it at 1440p. And with DLSS, you can make a large portion of the speed difference that ray tracing induces, which allows you to enjoy the fantastic image quality benefits of ray tracing without making too many performance sacrifices. Ray tracing actually wouldn't be worthwhile without DLSS. The NVIDIA 3060 Ti absolutely blows the RTX 2060 Super out of the water, just like the rest of the Amphir lineup has done to its predecessors. The RTX 3060 Ti is 38% quicker than the 2060 Super in the 4K gaming performance test, which was done on the 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme, which uses DirectX 12. Additionally, NVIDIA's new GPU performs 39% quicker than its turning equivalent and the Port Royal test, which measures raw ray tracing speed. On the RTX 3060 Ti, it ends up managing 69 frames per second compared to the 2080 Super 68 frames per second in Metro Exodus, 
without ray tracing and on the ultra quality preset at 1440p. When you turn on ray tracing, however, the third generation RT cores to stretch their wings with a much wider 8% performance lead. There are a couple notable exceptions though, for example, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Total War 3 Kingdoms, but yet most of the titles tech radar tested, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti had demonstrated the GPU's strength in many of the 1440p gameplays. Considering how demanding that these two games are, the RTX 3060 Ti's results of 55 frames per second and 59 frames per second respectively are quite impressive. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti even provides some game-changing 1440p performances whenever talking about mid-range markets and could be a sample 1440p card for some time. Also, when it comes to pure 1440p performance, the RTX 3060 Ti does dominate the market whenever you're considering both the performance and cost. Although it does cost about the same as the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, this graphics card performed, get this, 35% faster throughout our tests. Although the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is capable of low-quality 4K gaming, it actually excels much better at 1080p and 1440p resolutions. Last but not least, the best card for 4K gaming, the RTX 3070. NVIDIA's RTX 3070 introduces a whole new world of image quality to the average PC gamer, doing for 4K gaming what the RTX 970 did whenever 1080p gaming was released. 10 years ago, 1080p gaming at maximum settings and high frame rates were thought to be elite PC builds. All of a sudden, the GTX 970 appeared and made the best PC games available to the average player with stunning full HD graphics, offering exceptional performance on various games that are registered as graphically demanding like Batman Arkham Knight and The Witcher 3. For 4K gaming, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is now accomplishing that same thing. Of course, there are a couple of variants, like whenever the GTX 970 was released at a much more affordable price at $330, the RTX 3070 is coming in at a more expensive, but still reasonable price at $500. Regardless, they do have one thing in common, and that is they're bringing the public the upcoming revolution in gaming. The amazing strong GeForce RTX 3080 and 3090 respectively are going to be much more potent graphics cards in the 3000 lineup. However, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is still a powerful GPU whenever competing with the flagships of the previous gen. The RTX 3070 is the best graphics card for those whose budgets prevent them from being able to purchase the top tier RTX 3080 and 3090 is one that combines an affordable price with high performance. The Amphere GA104 GPU drives the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. This GPU, like the RTX 3080 and 3090 respectively, is based on the NVIDIA Amphere architecture and contains 5,888 CUDA cores distributed among 46 streaming multiprocessors. This mid-range graphics card performance levels are only surpassed by the absolute best GPUs whenever compared to the previous gen, and all thanks to a ton of advancements for both raw performance and power efficiency. The RTX 3070 is also a fantastic piece of hardware, due to the fact that it offers mid to high-end consumers performance on par with flagship models. The GeForce RTX 3070 consistently delivers incredibly fluid gameplay, and it performs at 4K and even supports high frame rate performance, even when compared to lower resolutions. The best way though to get the most out of your RTX 3070 would be to grab a 144Hz 1080p monitor without reducing any of the quality settings. The RTX 3070 offers outstanding performance, even in demanding titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Horizon Zero Dawn, earning 75FPS in the latter title at 1080p with every setting max except MSAA. Given that the RTX 2070 Super only managed 57 FPS in that same title, and how Rockstar's Yeehaw Simulator is, anyone familiar with demands, should understand how the RTX 3070 works with it. The People's Graphics Card, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070, offers outstanding 4K performance without breaking your bank. The only folks who should be using the RTX 3080 instead are those who want to brag and have more money to burn. So there you have it. That's the best GPUs to buy in August 2022.
Thanks so much for watching today's video, and if you did like it, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this, and also don't forget to ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more content updates from us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.